Hi, hello everyone. This is Chaket from VAC Global Education. Today I am here to talk to you about future. Future कैसा होगा? क्या उसमें चीजें होंगी जो आप develop करोगे? आपने thumbnail तो पढ़ा ही होगा that we are going to talk about software development programs in Canada, which colleges offer these programs. What are the skills what you are going to get? What are the jobs which you can get? What are the positions what you can get? What is the salary? What you can expect? आपको कैसे वहाँ पर पी आर मिलेगी एंड इवेंचुअली आप वहाँ पर सेटल हो गए सो ऑल दीज टॉपिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस वीडियो सो वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल दी एंड सो दैट यू गेट दी कंप्लीट इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो देन ऑलवेज डू नॉट फोगेट टू शेयर दिस वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड्स सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट स्टार्ट विथ टू डेज वीडियो सो दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट Software development. So, software development is the process of designing, creating, testing, and maintaining different software application that you must be doing or you must have studied because आपने या तो computer science पढ़ा है, BCA किया है, या फिर आप अब अपना career computer science में बनाने वाले हो, तो ये आपको already पता होगा. It involves the application of various principles and technique from computer science, engineering, and mathematical analysis. Software development aims to create efficient, reliable, and easy to use software. So the whole purpose is to make a product, make an application which is closest to the real life. So if you have this skill, then definitely, my friend, the next company you will be joining will be Google, Amazon, Facebook, Netflix, and so many other amazing startups which are budding all over the world. And you will not have any problem getting a job, which will Make sure that you don't have to look here and there and get your job done easily. The process of software development typically begins with the requirement gathering phases. In this phase, the software application requires a gathered form of uh, various stakeholders. These requirements are then analyzed and used to create a software design. And the software design is the implemented in code, which is then tested to ensure that it meets the requirement. Once the code is verified, it is deployed to the production environment. So this is what how so the requirement is raised. Then you come at the designing phase and then to the implementation. So this is how the whole software testing works. Now, what are the job responsibilities you will be responsible for after completing the course? So software developer design, program, build, deploy, and maintain software using many different skills and tools. They also help build software system that power network and device and ensure that those system remains functional. So basically, जो भी आप application develop करोगे, उसका आपको design से लेकर उसको program लिखने तक आपको build करना है, deploy करना है and once it is deployed, then you need to maintain that as well. Now, software development process require analysis, then planning. Designing and prototyping, software development, testing, deployment, maintenance, which I just told you. Now let's move on to what all colleges offer these courses in Canada, because that's why you are here for. You want to know which all colleges has computer programming, computer software, and uh, these programs. So Conestoga College, Lakehead University, Lambton College, Camison College, Elgoma University, then Sheridan College. University of Guelph, BCIT British Columbia, Bow Valley College, Humber College, George Brown College, and Seneca. So these are all DLI approved colleges. So you must be wondering what is a DLI approved college? DLI approved college is Designated Learning Institute, which are approved by Canadian government, which makes you eligible for post study work visa. So if you do a one year course, you will get one year of post study work visa. And if you will do two years of course, you will get three years of post study work visa. Now, many of the courses will be for one year. Many of the courses will be for two year. Now, if you will do one year course, you will have the option either going for a post study work visa straight away, or you can go for a two year, second year course where you can get another specialization. Like you can combine this course with cloud computing, business analytics, information system security. Lot of options are there once you complete this course. Now, what is the minimum requirement? Minimum requirement is that you need to have at least 55% marks in your graduation, in your bachelor's. So you can also get this course after three years of bachelor's or four years of B.Tech degree in India. 
so both the options are available with you IELTS score requirement is 6.5 no bend less than 6 there will be few options with 6 bands each but hey you are going to an English speaking country I would really want you to have 6.5 overall on no bend less than 6 that will make sure that you get a good college and you will have a lot of opportunities all the colleges accept backlogs between 0 to 7 so this is the minimum backlog what the major colleges accept however few colleges also accept up to x number of uh, backlogs because backlogs will make sure that you get to a good college however if you have 10 20 backlogs you will still have options for example conestoga college it is a very good public college which is flexible with the backlog now extended and open degree is also accepted in few colleges so you can make sure that you can do your degree with your uh, open degree as well and then obviously if you would have relevant work experience that would also work now some students who have done their graduation back uh, in the days like you have got 5, 7, 10, 15 years of gap you would still have options so you can get in touch with us so that we can do your profile shortlisting and we would let you know what all uh, colleges and courses you can get now what are the course module what are you going to uh, study in this program so advanced professional communication introduction to full stack development advanced web programming coding for tests so these are the uh, few basic thing or uh, basic courses what you are going to learn and then end user experience testing test methodologies applied project management and system design and analytics will be your few of the core subjects what you are going to learn in this uh, course now going ahead what are the potential job after this course and the position so you can get the uh, jobs of graphic software development, computer programmer, network administration, web developer, system analyst, quality assurance engineer and a uh, software developer. Now how many jobs of software developers are available as of today when we are making this video. So as of today 13,211 jobs are available just at indeed.com. Can you imagine the number of people required to fulfill all these kind of jobs which are available for software development this is one heck of a career which you can build where this can take you places and give you the surety of having a secured career because computer programming is not going anywhere for the next 50 years we are living in the world of ai now what would be the median salaries so security engineer will make roughly around 97,924 Canadian dollars. Quality assurance engineer who will be responsible for testing will make somewhere around 74,244. Then system analyst will make somewhere around 71,284. Web developer will make around the same 71,256 CAD. Network administration will make somewhere around 67,263 CAD and computer programmer will make somewhere around 58,673 CAD. Now the main fun part, how, what are your visa chances? So the visa chances depend upon the kind of profile you have. So profile you have means that you have degree, how much you have percentage, how much you have IELTS score, आप कितने साल के कोर्स के लिए जा रहे हो और आपका ओवरऑल परसेंटेज कितना है सो नाउ वीजा फाइलिंग के दो तरीके हैं वन इज योर एसडीएस द अदर वन इज नॉन एसडीएस सो नॉन एसडीएस इज अ हार्डर वे एंड मच इन अनसिक्योर वे बिकॉज़ यहां पर क्या होता है कि एसडीएस की देयर आर फाइव कंडीशन दैट यू नीड टू गो फॉर अ डीएलआई अप्रूव्ड कॉलेज यू नीड टू डिपॉजिट वन ईयर ट्यूशन फीस देन यू नीड टू हैव living expenses of 10,000 Canadian dollars you need to have a medical certificate and you need to have an IELTS score of 6.5 no less than 6 so in me se agar koi bhi a condition you are not fulfilling that will take your file to non SDS and that's where the visa get risky so the best thing would be that you should always try and get uh, your visa filing into SDS visa category that would be much uh, faster way of getting the visa now what all things would you require once you have got the admission you need to make sure that your financials are strong 
you need to write an sop which is statement of purpose you need to have a good overall profile which include your academics and work experience documents then you need proper documentation and timely visa filing so these would be the tips what you need to require in order to make sure that you get your uh, visa study visa easily now once you are done with your study visa once you are done with your course once you have a full time job then you need the ways to get your pr so there are three ways how you can get pr in canada one is canadian express class the second one is federal skilled worker program and the third one is provincial nominee that's how you would be able to settle down in canada without any trouble so this course is highly in demand we have just told you what kind of uh, jobs are available what positions you can apply for what are the different profiles what would be their salary what would be their skill so this is something what you need to be aware about and if you have any question regarding what colleges fees entry requirements whatever counseling doubts you have there is a link in the description which you can click connect with us we will do end to end counseling we will help you get the admission we will help you get the visa if you're looking for education loan we'll get your medical test done we will help you write your sop whatever is required to make sure that you have the smoothest journey to reach canada we will leave no stone unturned and we will make sure that you reach canada in the given intake whichever intake you choose majorly there are three intakes jan may and september so we will going to help you with the upcoming intake or whichever intake you would wish to go for so thank you for watching this video till the end and if you have any question drop it in the comment section and we shall see you in our next video so subscribe share and like take care bye bye